Minor league baseball players often stay with host families to save money. Matt Zahn joins us. And Matt, one local team has an interesting twist on that idea. Yeah, they sure do. The Schaumburg Boomers are an independent minor league team in the Frontier League. About 10 years ago, they were working to find housing for their players during the season. They ended up working with Friendship Village. And now each year, two to three of their players stay at the senior living community. What do like, your friends and other people say when you tell them where you're staying? Uh, that's, that's interesting, man. They're like, really? You know, <laughs> like, are you playing bingo with them? All 72. The idea is crazy. I mean, I talked to my friends the other day. They're like, wait, you're here? And I was like, yeah, but you wouldn't believe how fun it is. And it's not what you would think. Yes, once you get over the initial craziness of the idea, you realize it's a pretty good one. These minor league baseball players need a place to stay, and it turns out, this is a pretty great option. Yeah, it's like a college campus. It's, it's beautiful. I don't know. They do a really good job here. I'm really impressed. So far, I've enjoyed it a lot. You know, I got here first day and I was like, you know, this is interesting, you know, quiet, peaceful, and it's kind of like what I like. You know, the residents here are really kind and friendly. What's it like having these guys stay here? Fantastic. We get to see them once in a while, but they're so busy. And we've had them before, and we enjoy having them. Maybe the best thing about this partnership between the Boomers and Friendship Village is that it feels like a win for both the residents and the players who stay here. Number one, it's great for us to see some young people uh, walking around. Number two, I think it's great for them as well. I think they come away probably with a better understanding of a mature adult. And they always try to give advice and it's always good advice. It's always play as long as you can, play hard. A lot of advice I get is I'd give up every dollar I have to be your age again. And I'll take that with me forever. My mother used to have an expression. She said, I'm not old. I'm older. <laughs> Don't put any limits on yourself. And the residents put absolutely no limits on themselves when they got to spend the day at the stadium with the Boomers. Not only did they enjoy watching the game, they got to participate by throwing out a first pitch, doing some announcing, and even taking part in a home run derby. I uh, was in a home run derby. I only hit one home run this year, but uh, you know, it was it was fun. Did you hit more some other year? Yeah, a couple of years ago I had three, Ooh. so I was the big, <laughs> the big <laughs> bopper that time. And as much as they enjoyed getting on the field with the players and watching their fellow residents play, there was apparently one part of the ballpark experience that stood above the rest. We could get hot dogs for a dollar. <laughs> How were they? Great, great. That was a really, really, really nice at the, at the game over there. And uh, especially the hot dogs, a dollar <laughs> a piece. <laughs> Everybody likes the hot dogs. Were they really good? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone seems to be enjoying this partnership as well. Yeah, as you can see, all these seniors are active, especially Velma, who threw out a first pitch at 95. She still plays many sports, including water volleyball. And guys, she pointed out she's clearly a more well-rounded athlete than those guys who only play baseball. Oh, clearly. I can see <laughs> Velma taking a spot on the team. <laughs> Maybe sure. Sally, too. Right? Yeah. Matt, I have to say I love that story. I mean, yes. the generations have a lot to learn from one another. Yeah, and it seems like that's exactly what they're doing. Yeah, Wonderful. That was just great. Thank you, Matt. <laughs>